This is Orrin Lee Staley, NFO president. A member of the NFO staff has been instructed to call on you. You probably have read the editorial in the Prairie Farmer in which it correctly stated that the NFO had won a court case in the Illinois State Court requiring members to pay back dues. This court decision that the NFO won was not unexpected. Our lawyers had always said that we would win because the membership agreement is a contract and the basis of business in this country is a contract and business is conducted by contracts and any adverse decision the NFO membership agreement would have rocked the very foundation of the business community in this country. Courts have ruled time and time again that membership agreements are valid contracts and enforceable contracts. It is not the desire of the NFO to sue the payment of back dues is a business obligation. And we want you not only to pay your back dues, but to be a good NFO member. But we do have to have the payment of back dues. In the court case in Illinois, the members that were sued went together and fought the case. They lost. Their lawyer, at one point in the case, stalled the case for whatever reason he may have had. And additional NFO people had to make trips to Illinois by private plane. And this meant extra cost to the NFO. When the judge ruled, he ruled not only that the members had to pay their back dues, but that they had to pay the extra expense incurred by the NFO. So after the court decision was rendered, the sheriff went to the farms and collected the dues. There was an error that happened some way that it, they did not include the additional charges and costs that the NFO had had in the case. So he made another trip, that's the sheriff, and got the rest of the money. This is not good for anybody. It is not a business-like way to do it. But we have to follow the procedure because we're trying to help farmers. It takes money to do it, and the NFO is the farmer's only hope. But really, this is just a business decision. A contract is a contract. The NFO has won like decisions in five other states. In some cases, the NFO has gone to probate court after the members have passed away. And it has been ruled that the dues were payable and collectible and would have to be paid by the estate. In the editorial in the Prairie Farmer, they spelled out that the dues are going to have to be paid. The big issue, of course, is that this is a matter of contract. And it's strictly a matter of contract. Sometimes local attorneys get farmers into an awful lot of problems because they don't understand that a membership agreement is a contract and that when there is a contract agreed to by both parties, it is enforceable. Time and time again, courts have been very liberal in their interpretation of membership agreements and the fact that they're very binding. Certainly, 
We want to save money for you and the organization, to save time, and to save embarrassment. We don't want money to have to be spent for paying lawyers' fees and wasting time. So we're here to offer you an opportunity to pay your dues. The staff man will give a written report that he will file on his visit with you. It's strictly business. We must have the dues, and we want to do it in a businesslike way.